Good morning, good morning, good morning. What's going on guys? Jacob Orth back here with another video of Jacob's Life in Vegas. Hoping everybody's having a great day today. And I wanna to talk to you guys today about something that I've had several people here ask me about on the channel before and uh, you know, topics related to this. I've been meaning to cover this for a while, uh, but it's actually about the gun culture here in Nevada. And I know there's a lot of you you know, in other states, uh, you know, they're looking to move here. In some of your states, you know, the gun laws are pretty lax. Some states, the gun laws are pretty strict. So, you know, I wanted to talk to you guys, kind of like give you a, a synopsis of, you know, Nevada gun laws and just, you know, the culture here on firearms in Nevada. So I have a list of things to go over because it's quite a bit, but I'll go through it fairly quickly. And if you're someone who's really into the Second Amendment, um, then you're probably going to like Nevada, okay? Just to give you like the short part. If I had to choose one word to describe the gun culture here, I would say strong. If I had to choose two words, I would say very strong. To, to describe the gun culture here in Nevada. Now, a lot of that, this strong gun culture we have here, actually just really stems from, you know, the early days of this state. I mean, you know, being such a, you know, wild, wild west state, I mean, you know, so many towns here, even Las Vegas, really was just a railroad town for a long time. And, you know, out here in the west, I mean, you pretty much were on your own, <laughs> okay? The west, you know, as you know, out west, we have less population than, you know, more like on the east coast. So you had to really, you know, do a lot of like, you had to be a lot of your own uh, self-defender here. And, you know, the laws here, Years ago, like you used to be able to actually shoot someone if they were trying to steal your horse because your horse was your livelihood a long time ago here in Nevada. If you lost your horse, man, you were in a tough spot just to survive out here in the desert. So that's not the case today. Okay, Nevada has changed a bit, but there's still, you know, some of our laws and really our foundation come from, you know, the early days here and the fact that this place has such a strong libertarian nature, libertarian culture, which is very pro Second Amendment, which is very, you know, pro freedom and pro constitution for the most part. So I'll give you guys. Uh, some things here to, to, you know, help prove that, you know, Nevada is a strong state for gun owners. Uh, I've seen before online, you know, I've researched this, and I saw a few years ago it said Nevada's gun ownership rate was actually 40%. Uh, I saw recently a couple other articles that said it was between 37 and like 37.5% which that is, that is high. We're on the higher end of states in terms of gun ownership. And I'll put links to some of these articles down below. I'll also put links down below to us, like some local gun groups. There's a gun meetup you can join uh, if you guys want to do that. Also, I think it's Nevada Firearms Coalition or something along those lines, a local gun group here. So there's groups you can go to that'll go shooting every so often. They'll go to outdoor ranges, indoor ranges. Those go out to the desert. People do that here sometimes. They'll just drive out to like Gene or out to Sloan on your way to California, go off the road and you just start shooting out there, set up your own targets. People can do that. Uh, there's tons of shooting ranges here. You know, a lot of them the tourists go to too near the strip, but there's some off the strip as well you can go to. Uh, people oftentimes go see how many gun stores there are here. There's times you'd be driving around town, there'd be like two gun stores just like a block apart from each other. So no shortage of places to shoot, no shortage, no shortage of places to buy firearms. And you know, you'll see that here locally, if you're kind of into firearms, you're just a little bit into it, you'll notice that, you know, certain things around here will tell you that the culture here for firearms is pretty strong. So I'll go into some of the things here, some of the legal things that, you know, help show that, you know, Nevada is a pretty pro-gun state. Um, you know, the laws here, when it comes to getting a concealed carry weapons permit, you know, Nevada is a shall issue state, like most states in the country. You know, if you pass the background check, you do the course, you pass the training, you pass everything you need to, you will get your CCW permit. You will get a license to carry concealed here in Nevada. You know, there's no question about it. It's not like California where you pass all the requirements and then they might give it to you depending on how the sheriff feels. No, here, you pass all the requirements, you get your permit, okay? Uh, we open carry here too in Nevada. So Nevada, we have concealed carry and we have open carry. Here you do not need a permit to open carry in Nevada. And you can carry open with one in the chamber. So, uh, you know, another state like right next door to us, Utah, you know, if you do not have a permit, a concealed carry permit in Utah and you open carry, you're not allowed to have one in the chamber. You know, here in Nevada, that's not the case. You don't need a permit. You can open carry with one in the chamber, you know, around a lot of places here. I've done it before. I've open carry and most people they don't really notice you're carrying. Okay. You will see people open carry around town, you know, every so often. Um, we have no assault weapons ban, I say assault weapons ban, right? Whatever bureaucrats want to define that as. No assault weapons ban here. There's no purchase permit. There's no registration. There's no license to own a gun here. Like some other states I've heard of, um, you know, doing things like that. Or I think in like Connecticut, you have to take a class before you can even go buy a gun. And some just, you know, laws can vary greatly from state to state. Uh, there's no waiting period here. Private sales are okay. And then local laws cannot override state laws. That was something that got switched a few years ago when basically North Las Vegas and Boulder City were trying to come up with their own local ordinances that were more strict than what the state even said. And in 2015, the state stepped in and they said, no, you can't do this. Your permit 
your right to carry is just as good in Boulder City, in North Las Vegas, in Henderson, Las Vegas, Elko, Reno, Winnemucca, Mesquite, Pahrump, wherever you're at in the state, your permit is good, okay? Local, local ordinances in local cities and local jurisdictions, they cannot override state law, okay? So that's no longer the case uh, with, you know, local, local ordinances. We're trying to override the state. Your permit is valid everywhere in the state of Nevada. Um, some things where Nevada is not as lax as other states, because you ever look it up online, like best states for gun owners, you'll see that like, you know, like Arizona comes in at the top, you know, like Kansas, I think is one of the top ones. I think Wyoming, Alaska, you know, those kind of states. We're not that high. Um, I'd say, you know, we're, I mean, we're towards the top when it comes to gun ownership, you know, maybe like in the top third, probably in the top third when it comes to like laws for how lax they are. So I don't think we're top 10, but you know, we're up there as far as, you know, laws that support the Second Amendment. So some things we do not have though, like here we do not have constitutional carry. So if you're like in Arizona, if you're in Idaho and you're planning to move to, you know, Nevada and you're used to be able, being able to just conceal, you know, buy a handgun, conceal it without a permit, you're not going to be able to do that here. You do have to get a permit. Um, we do not have campus carry here. So again, like some other states, I think like Texas, uh, Idaho, I think even Oregon of all places, like Colorado, they allow campus carry. You're not allowed to do campus carry here. Your permit is not valid when you're carrying, you know, on campuses. Uh, let's see. Another thing here, it's a little strange in Nevada compared to other states out west, is the process to get your concealed carry permit takes longer than other states. Uh, when I've looked at Arizona, Idaho, um, Utah, Washington, Oregon, uh, those, all those states, I think the longest they'll take is like 90 days. You know, I think Arizona and Utah are around 60 days. Washington, Oregon might be around the same time. California just totally depends. You know, some counties get it to you in a couple months. Uh, some counties, you know, it takes like two years. Just depends on which county you're living in. But here, it can actually take up to 120 days to get your permit. Uh, the process does take a bit longer here. You can, you know, open carry in the meantime. Uh, when I got mine the first time, uh, it was 100 days exactly is what mine took. So people were saying, oh, it's going to take the full 120. Then at 120, you have to bug them to, you know, get it pushed through. But 100 days from the day I, you know, applied and submitted to the day it was approved and is valid, 100 days exactly for me. So it does take a little bit of time, you know, compared to some other states, but you will get your permit nonetheless if you pass. Uh, let's see, some other things I'd written down. So yeah, the state does for the most part protect the Second Amendment. You know, 2015, they made those changes to the law, like I said earlier, you know, to make the laws uniform throughout the entire state. In 2016, there was actually a question on the ballot, question one, um, that actually passed. I mean, I think it passed by like a few thousand votes. It was like less than 1%. And it was actually uh, a measure for background checks and to make, you know, to add another layer to it. And it passed, but then it was deemed that we couldn't even enforce it. So we could enforce it, it got blocked, and now it has never been enforced because, you know, the government, the state government here looks, looks and said, well, if we can't enforce this law, why even have it on the books, you know? It's like, it's, if we can't enforce it, like, it was just going to make us feel good to have it on the books, you know? It's like, this isn't California. So they actually blocked it. It's never been enforced, um, you know, back in 2016. And even after the, you know, the tragedy here in 2017, you know, back in October, you know, I did not hear any real organized push to make gun laws more strict here. You know, I never heard, I didn't hear anybody talking about it, that they were going to try to pass, you know, any laws, you know, at the state level to really push, you know, for tighter gun control here. There's nothing on our state ballot in 2018. There's no questions about, you know, gun laws here and trying to make gun laws more strict. There's nothing on the ballot this year for that. So, I mean, this area, I mean, it's pretty pro second amendment. You know, that's, that's the best way I'd put it. It's pretty pro second amendment, pretty friendly. If you're a gun owner, we have over a hundred thousand CCWs in the state of Nevada right now. Most of those being, you know, right here in Clark County, because we have the most people, right? So most people, you know, are in the Las Vegas area and up in the Reno area, that's where you have most of the concealed carry permits. Um, you know, that's where you're gonna find, you know, a lot of CCW holders here. Uh, there's people here that take their second amendment very seriously. Uh, I remember talking to one guy who said the instructor who taught him his class, everywhere the guy goes, he carries two guns and a knife on him. Uh, I've talked to some other guys who, you know, you go to like gun stores, you talk to some guys and you know, it just depends on what people like to carry on them. Some people, you know, they carry a little five shot revolver and they're happy with that. Other guys, you know, they'll conceal like their uh, Glock 19 and they'll have like two extra magazines on them. Like they'll have like 40 plus rounds of ammunition on them whenever they, wherever they go. So some people, it's just up to them. Some people, you'll see it here, they take their gun rights very seriously and they're very serious about the Constitution. So 
you know, and you can see that sometimes here in places like where people open carry. I've seen people open carry in grocery stores, in restaurants. Uh, one guy was telling me he saw somebody open carry in the bank one time, you know, and people will conceal carry all over the place too. I've seen guys at the gym, you know, in the, in the locker room, he's, he's getting, uh, he's putting his jeans back on and he had, you know, his gun on his jeans, you know, had it holstered on his jeans. I mean, people will conceal and they open carry like all the time here. So if you open carry, you won't see as much. Conceal, you know, that's much more common, but then again, if they're concealing properly, you're not gonna know they have it. So is Nevada a pro Second Amendment state? Is it friendly for gun owners? Yes, it definitely is. So I'll put links down below, local gun groups, some articles, if you want more information. If you guys want more info on this, like more videos in the future, I could talk about open carry in another video. I could do concealed carry in another video. Uh, maybe like how to buy a handgun in Nevada. I could do that in another video. So I can talk, you know, some more about this, guys. And for those of you that are coming from other states, I can give you some more information on, you know, what the gun culture is like here in Nevada. So if you want to talk to me one-on-one, -on -one, link down below. You can go to Clarity. You can chat with me there over the phone, one-on-one. -on -one. If you'd like to support me on Patreon, Link down below to support me on Patreon as well. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'm Jacob. This is My Life in Vegas.